honor in who is who among American college students. She successfully completed her bachelor's degree in 1977, where she earned a Bachelor of Science honors degree. And in 1978, she gained admission to the American University of the Caribbean School of Medicine, where she began her studies for preventive medicine, made her to concentrate on community medicine and research, and the promotion of health. And today, Ada is considered one of the leading experts in this field of community medicine. At one point, she was the patron of the prayer group of All Saints Cathedral, uh, Asaba, Cape Point Asaba. You can see the convergence of Christianity and tradition. You either say that we traditionalize our Christianity or we Christianize our tradition. Whichever one that uh, It was an emotional decision for her. But God, she prayed about it, and at the end of the day, she accepted the invitation to be the next one. The family shared the joy and the new Omu danced to the drum beats with her friends. Be very blessed. We give glory to God. I'm very proud of my mother and happy to be here today. The guests later gathered at the event center for a wonderful reception with different groups danced to greet the Omu. Dr. Ada Biosa was born to the family of Chief and Chief Mrs. Biosa, both of Blessed Mary, from Ogbonishe village, Umagu Kota, Asaba. She read medicine and concentrated in community health. 
which is the prevention of disease and promotion of health. And she is an expert in our field. After her education and professional training, Ada Biosa was married for 10 years. Although the union ended in divorce, unto her, three lovely daughters were born, Obiajulu, Ivie, and Precious. She held different positions and hold many awards to her credit. Um, I wish her long life, much success. I wish her the strength to perform her duties and do well for us. Um, I wish for her to be very successful, to be very brave, to do everything well and that she knows that she can do. The kingdom is both Christian and traditional. Um, the objective of the Asaba as you have told us is that this kingdom should be established on the firm team of development, unity and peace. That's all the two. Well, well, let's let's well let's. Let's. we wish her all the best. It is my sincere desire that she turns the administrative or traditional governance of uh, the people of Assam, you know, in the way where she's coming from, because she's a diaspora citizen. It is my wish and desire that the way things are done, where she's coming from, let her turn this town as a particular the state capital. She said, and I quote. The Asagba Kingdom is one thing outside my God, my family, and my close friends that matters most to me. I am taking this step on the best interest of the town that I love. I love the Asaba Kingdom. Now, this is going to be a new beginning and a new journey in my life. I am the first to admit that the transition will not be an easy one. I am asking that you all become my traveling companions throughout this amazing journey. It is a great privilege, honor, and blessing to become the 14th Omu of Asaba. It is a position that I can never take for granted and plan to confirm your trust in my abilities. I look forward to the entire future of our town, Asaba. End of quote. Like I stated, uh, this whole journey has been a long one. It's been a long journey, and uh, it's, it's not something that I just got up and said, I am going to do it. I deliberated on it a lot. I thought about it a lot. I prayed about it a lot. And I believe that the faith that I have, the God that has put me into this position, will lead me to be successful. I have no fear that I'll be successful. I am very convinced and I'm ready. May God bless the great town of Asaba.